If you've played Battlefield anywhere from 5 to 10 matches since the launch, as since release day, you have probably already seen and experienced the, the dynamic weather that each map has. Now, sometimes you get fog, sometimes you get a sandstorm, just depends on what kind of map you're on. Now, that's something I really, really like about Battlefield, but when you do get to the dynamic weather, it does call for different play styles and it does call for a complete game changer, really. For that short amount of time that the fog or the sandstorm or whatever kind of weather hits you, that really will call for a change of tactics, strategy, and play style. So, I'm here to show you guys how you guys can beast in the fog or in the sand. So, number one thing you want to remember is always be situationally aware. Now, I've mentioned this before and I made a whole video on it top right on your screen if you want to check that out. But... Yeah, man, the thing is you have to be extremely, extremely aware about what's around you. And if you're like me and you have any experience with first-person shooters, you know how important it is to be situationally aware. Now, basically, it comes down to this. It comes down to spotting. It comes down to using headsets because the sounds, you can hear everything, man. You can hear everything. Now... When you're in the sandstorm, it is a little bit harder to hear, like, footsteps and callouts and stuff like that, enemy callouts, but... Man, I, I still recommend that you use them because it is better than your TV speakers or if your monitor, if you play on a monitor and it comes with speakers, then your monitor speakers or whatever, man. Whatever you're using, headsets are always going to be best. And then number three, you want to use the mini map in order to be situationally aware. All three of those things together will make you completely situationally aware at the best possible way that you can in the fog or the sandstorm. Do keep in mind that that was pretty vague though. I didn't really go in depth at all with that. I just give you guys the main points. If you want to know more, go to the top right on the screen. You can go to my video where I go all over it, but I'm just not going to go so in depth in this video because this video is not about being situationally aware. It's about beasting in the fog or the sandstorm. So moving on. Also, you want to make sure that you switch to the assault class until the weather gets better. I really recommend the assault class. Now, the assault class in this installment is made up of SMGs and shotguns, both of which are short range weapons. Right, remember that when fog and the sandstorm rolls in, you you can't see more than a few meters in front of you, dude. That's the problem. You can't see more than a few meters around you, so you need to adapt. All right, so switching to your short range weapon or to a short range like encounter weapon, if that makes any sense, something short range like a shotgun or an SMG, it makes sense, right? It really does. It makes sense because it does make sense. Like it seems like it makes sense because it makes sense. If that makes any sense at all, dude. But anyway, dude. Let's go ahead and move on. Stick to the edge of the map. And yes, I really, really recommend the edge of the map. Sticking to the edge of the map will make it much harder for enemies to actually sneak up behind you. And that is what you want. You don't want people sneaking up behind you because those gunfights, unless they're really, really bad at aiming, or if you have some good headsets or good situational awareness, like I mentioned earlier and you watched my video, you will actually die because you, you don't stand a chance. Like, how can you kill a target that you can't see? You know what I mean? How can you beat that target? You can't even see them. So you don't want that. You don't want people behind you. You want people in front of you so that you can see them. So doing that, in order to do that, you will actually be best doing that through the edges of the map because that actually eliminates one side that they can actually sneak up on you by. And that usually is the back because there's not a lot of people rushing, enemies rushing through the edge. A lot of people are in the middle. So if you're going through the edges and you're aiming towards the middle constantly, you're going to get a lot of kills. Trust me. Now, before you guys kill me in the comment section, I know that you can't really go through the edge of the map because the map are so huge like they're big big massive maps yeah well they are but we're talking about fog here dude we're talking about the sandstorm when it's actually when you're actually in the sandstorm and you're in the fog that is when you're doing all of these things you don't have to do that when you when you're clear when the weather is great you don't have to do that it's only when the weather is really bad because you can't see anywhere and people can sneak up on you wherever you are from any side you want to make sure you stick to the edge of the map so that you minimize that risk so do do that. I really recommend that. Now, if you can get in a vehicle, but don't get into planes, right? Any vehicle, per, per, you know, preferably tanks, but not not planes. Please don't get into planes. All right, planes are good if you just want to survive without getting any kills while you're in the fog, or you know, really if any kills at all. But dude, don't I, I don't recommend them at all because the thing is that it's so hard to actually PTFO with the fog because it doesn't let you see anywhere around you or anywhere below you. Like it's not as easy to play the fucking objective, right? I 
I suggest you get down and get into a tank, armored car or a horse. Any of those will work just fine. If you get on a horse, I recommend that you do not stop, right? Do not stop and equip your sword for short range encounters because you won't be seeing people from a long distance. So you don't really need that sniper that you get as primary. Switch to your secondary sword and just go around, try to play the objective and hopefully you can get some kills or objectives at the same time. That way your team doesn't fall behind with the actual fog or the sandstorm or anything like that. Anyway guys, I really appreciate you guys listening all the way through. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more daily Battlefield 1 tips like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.